After the martyrdom of Imam Jabad, Mu'tasim was concerned about the Shias gathering around Imam Hadi as their next Imam. He asked Umar ibn Faraj, his governor in Medina, to assign the Imam's upbringing and training to a trusted teacher by the government. Mu'tasim's intention was to train the Imam with the non-Shia teachings and restrict his interactions with his followers. Umar ibn Faraj gathered a group from the people of Medina who were all against the Shias and inquired about such a teacher. He was then referred to Junaidi, who was well known for his hostility to the Shias. He selected Junaidi as the Imam's private teacher and asked him to restrict the Imam's interactions with his Shia's followers. After a while, someone asked Junaidi about the situation of the boy that he was training. Junaidi responded with surprise as to why he called the Imam a boy and not a respected elder. He then said that I am the master in the science and literature over all others in Medina. I say something regarding the literature and think that my opinion is at its perfection and maturity. However, he completes my statement with many new scientific facts. Junaidi then said that the people think that I am his teacher, but in reality, he is my teacher. After a while, the same person met Junaidi for the second time and asked about the Imam's whereabouts. Junaidi responded that the Imam is the best person on earth and the most virtuous person that God has ever created. He then admitted that the Imam has the entire Quran in memory, has the best voice in recitation of the Quran, and has the full knowledge of the interpretation and the true meaning of the Quran. Later, Junaidi, who was greatly influenced by Imam's holy character and divine knowledge, became a Shia follower of the Imam.